Hi, this is John again, and today we're giving another review of a Fenty case yet again. This is the Fenty case for the iPad, iPad 2, iPad 3, and uh, we're going to go through it. Now, this is uh, not a recent purchase. This is not a um, relatively new unboxing. These are kind of discussions that are long term. This case has been in use now for about a month, and let's, kind of, let's see how it's holding up. You'll uh, notice the traditional Fenty design for um, a lot of their cases, the, their folio style cases. The crease on the front, the Fenty logo, the, uh, the stitching around the edge. When we open this guy up, you see how this works. Um, there's, the, there's the seam here for the fold. There's the traditional Velcro piece that holds it in place. There's the frame. Here's the, uh, the notch for the um, stylus. Now this is for the iPad, iPad 2, iPad 3. So when we're looking at it, we want to make sure everything's in the right place. Here's the uh, the notch for the camera that's in the bezel. Um, here's the notch for the the button for the uh, the generic button on the bottom, and uh, there is the notch for the charger. If you look on the top, um, there there are the spots for um, the microphone right here, and uh, the headphone jack is clearly exposed, as is the panel button for the switch, uh, just the generic on off switch. If you uh, flip over to the side, the toggle switch, let's see if we can get a little better light on this. There's uh, there's the gap here for the toggle switch, which, you could, which could be adjusted for muting or screen orientation, as well as the rocker switch for the volume controls. If you flip to the back, you'll note that um, for the rear facing camera, here's the, uh, the notch again. Here are the holes for the speaker. And here is the tab, so you can use, um, in, uh, in landscape mode, you can use this as kind of a, a viewing, uh, a viewing for, you can use your iPad to view video. Let's open this back up and let's just insert the iPad so you see it um, in practice. So you need to unvelcro this piece. Um, the iPad simply slides right on in. It's really smooth. The screen is nicely uh, protected. We make sure everything's in. And then um, when you kind of lift the iPad away, fold that flap in and then press down and the Velcro seals. It's not going anywhere. So now we can see all this in a little bit better practice. Camera, the button, and that uh, may just a little adjusting there. And uh, there's the, the rocker switches, the ons, the, uh, the adapter, and then uh, the on off the uh, headphones and the microphone. This all folds up very nicely and it uh, has the magnetic piece so when I open it up the iPad automatically comes on. Now let me uh, kind of illustrate that feature on the back I was showing you. What you do is you you kind of reverse it and then you lift that tab up a little bit and uh, I'm always too cautious I don't want to bend it and it slides over that edge just like that and then you can turn the iPad this way and I have mine locked so we undo it and uh, lo and behold now you can view movies or FaceTime in widescreen or whatever you want to do. So um, you've already seen that I did a review for the Fenty case on uh, the Samsung Tab Pro. The reason I bought it was because I had this one on this iPad and I was just really impressed. The price is great, the quality is made, is, is high. Um, there's still not a loose seam anywhere on the darn thing. It's, uh, it's great for holding. It actually makes it just a really comfortable size. I've been using this for about a month. Would I continue to, to buy these cases? Absolutely, I'm really impressed with this brand so far and uh, that's why I bought one for my other tablets. Um, I think I gave about $15 for this on Amazon at the time I purchased it. It came in their hassle-free packaging, and um, that's all, of course, long gone. So anyway, the Fenty Folio case for the iPad, iPad 2, iPad 3, really fantastic purchase. Um, I highly recommend it. Thanks a bunch. Thanks for watching.